I wanted to talk to you today about seeding your garden. I've got a earthway seeder here that I've used for many years in my garden. It's uh, sold uh, locally in the United States out of Indiana. And uh, I've been seeding many kinds of seeds with it. Uh, today, I'm going to put the lettuce plate in. And I've actually put one in there. Uh, so it would make it easier for us to see this. I've got some lettuce seed in the packet. I'm going to pour some lettuce seed inside the hopper. Now, I'm going to be taking this seeder and I'm going to run some lettuce seed down the row just for just for an example. I'm going to run a little bit down right here for you just to see how it works. It rotates and picks up the lettuce seed as it goes just dispensing it about like you need to have it. Okay. I'll say a little more about how the seeder works. So I've got my lettuce seed inside the hopper. I've got my seed plate in place. Each one of these little holes on the seed plate picks up your seed, your lettuce or whatever. It can plant peas, radishes, uh, corn, beans, but they're different size seed plates for those. The way the machine works itself is always the same. So as I'm going down, there's a belt. It drives the hopper, uh, it drives the lettuce seed around on the plate with the belt. And then there's an adjustment as to how deep you want to set your seed. This is the adjustment here. You know, you can go from almost no depth to a one or two inches. And if it's dry, I go deep. If it's wet, I go shallow. And that's what drives the seed and allows it to go to a certain depth. You can see, you can see down below how deep it's going to be going now by looking at that bottom plate. The bottom is your best uh, machine for the money. I've had this machine for 30 years and you can see it hasn't broken. I still use it. It's, there's nothing really wrong with it. I've had to tighten a couple bolts here and there. Uh, I put it inside when I'm not using it. I try to take good care of it. But I seed acres of land with this seeder, which is what I would call a very useful and practical tool. Uh, they're, they're inexpensive when you really look at all cedars, they're probably one of the least expensive cedars on the market. Earthway cedar, you know, made in Indiana. You can look them up. 